I'm excited that we'll both have uh, Python being installed on each of us Windows machine and let's just get started. So what you'll need to do is you'll just need to come to python.org that's the official site for python and this is the little symbol that you would see then you would just simply go to downloads and we'll install it for windows okay so there'll be a lot of uh, various versions coming in for python but uh, whatever versions that you see here they'll have maintenance status uh, appropriately right so 3.7 is the latest version of python which has lts lifetime support right so now we'll be installing the latest version on our windows machine great so we'll just go to python 3.7.7 which says march 10 2020 which has the lts right so we'll just click on download and we'll see uh, to which machine we'll be able to so for mac os users for windows users everyone else right so what we'll do is we'll install it for windows x86 64 installer right so this is the file that we need to install which will run for amd64 em64 tnx64 for most of us our machines would be for intel processor and these would be x64 so we'll just install the file as and when installation is done we'll click on python 3.7 and we'll run the application to install so as i see we have the installation uh, setup started make sure you add python 3.7 to path this is highly important and highly recommended because most of the times installation breaks when you don't really add python 3.7 to path and you'll have to make custom changes in windows file system so to make it run right if your python is not running right now correctly on your system i recommend you to go to control panel and remove it and then install it and make sure to tick on add python 3.7 to path right so we will just install now which includes idle that's the text editor that we have for python pip is the package manager and certain documentations so when you click on install now you'll have this pop-up come to your screen you'll just click ok and then you'll just move ahead and let python install on windows machine right so as soon as this installation is done we'll go through and write a hello world program that's the entry program that's there for uh, writing in uh, the python on your system right so let's just wait for it to get done so it will take about five to seven to ten minutes on your machine and it should be done by then so it's installing all the uh, necessary libraries, necessary modules that are required for Python to run initially. There are a lot of package managers as I was talking about, that's, that's the pip. So pip is a package manager used to install uh, various libraries where packages on Python that are supported by Python. So in this course uh, that we are having for class 12 CVSC syllabus, so we'll be having a lot of libraries putting in to our uh, Python programs in order to receive a lot of uh, you know good outputs, good uh, ideations, good concepts that is possible uh, with single programming language that's Python. So why Python and uh, you know the lot of other things why Python in 2020 why Python for CBSC class 12 then uh, that is something uh, I have another video where I talk about class 12 CBSC syllabus I talk about uh, you know other uh, uh, you know things about uh, CBSC why CBSC chose Python why uh, what's the significance of Python what can you do with Python so there are a lot of uh, other videos that I have and all the links would be in description so don't forget to check it out so whatever it says just close it right so now congratulations you have Python on your system how we'll just check it out just go to your windows press your windows key you'll see a pop-up here just type in Python when you type in python you would see an app here so i'll tell you different ways you can run python on your system when you type in python you can just click on this application and you know simply start to code right so uh, this is a simple command for printing hello world uh, for printing hello world so we'll what we'll do is we'll just go and type in 
uh, hello world and we'll try print it so it prints so that means uh, python is correctly installed on your windows machine so what different ways are to open or to run python programs one is this just simply type in python and you'll have an app uh, coming over here and you'll be able to run it another is to open your command line cmd is a short form for command prompt so just click on enter and open command prompt so there are different commands that you can write in windows like uh, to list all the directories you have their command right similarly what you could do in the command prompt is simply write python so you'll have your python uh, running right in your command line great here also you can uh, run the same command say hello world you want to print hello world and here you go so it works perfectly here another thing when you install python it comes with a inbuilt text editor that's called idle and when you open idle then it has a script uh, in itself and it will open a text editor right mm -hmm. so it's also a shell for python here also you can simply write print hello world uh, what great thing comes with idle is you can uh, create a new file write the file and the code you can save the file and eventually run in the shell so what i'll do is uh, i'll just comment out uh, main program starts and simply you will print hello world hello world great so this is what you can do with uh, the program what i'll do is i'll keep this file in downloads as the name test.py so to run you can simply press on f5 or you can go here the run the module so it prints hello world for you so this is how you can simply make use of a text editor when you install python on your windows machine so i'm sure you would you would have installed python correctly on your machine and if there's any issues that you're finding with python installation just have uh, the comment in the description or comments and i'll be able to help you with uh, the installation process and also i have different recommendations of running python program easily on the cloud for that you will have to check out this video or you will find the link in the description below okay guys have a good day sayonara bye bye and aim to score 100 100 in class 12 cbc exam bye bye